Tonight, families are reacting to promising news for patients in the early stages of Alzheimer's. Earlier this week, the FDA approved a new drug that can slow the progression of this fatal disease. Our Marcelino Benito takes a closer look at what it means for people touched by Alzheimer's. At the end of the day, I miss my mom. You know what I mean? It's been four years since Catherine Fillmore got news so many families dread. I don't wish this disease upon anyone. Her mother, Amalia, has Alzheimer's. As her caregiver, alongside her dad, she's watched her mom slowly fade. Just enjoying her while I can, while she still remembers me. Families like hers across the country have been praying for new treatments. There's new hope for people living with Alzheimer's, a disease that affects almost 7 million Americans. This week, the FDA delivered, approving a new drug made by Eli Lilly, known as Denanamap. It'll be sold under the brand name Kisunla. This is a, you know, a very, very big deal in terms of the, the treatment of Alzheimer's. Dr. Joseph Mazdu is the director of the Nance National Alzheimer's Center at Houston Methodist. He says for decades there's only been medication to treat symptoms. Denanumab is now the second drug on the market that can help slow the disease progression. Already we have received a number of calls, yes, from people who are interested in, in exploring the possibility of uh, being treated with this medication. The new treatment, only an option for those in the early stages of Alzheimer's. That means, sadly, it's too late to make a difference for Catherine's mom. Do I wish that this drug would have came out five years ago? Absolutely. But that's just not my, that's not my story, but I hope it's someone else's story. But it does give her hope for the future and for families just beginning their journey with Alzheimer's. Doctors hope it encourages more people to seek out early diagnosis. One of the first warning signs is becoming more forgetful. The earlier you are in the disease, the more you can actually do to improve your quality of living with the disease and uh, at least slow things from getting worse. That was Marcelo Benito reporting. Now, if you have questions, need information on local resources or assistance, there is free help available through the Alzheimer's Association. That 24-7 helpline is 800-272-3900. I mean, that would be, that's, that's huge. It's a potential game changer, yeah. and uh, for families going through this, I am sure they're very excited about the possibilities. Yeah, it is. Okay.